Right, OCD cleaners and hoarders. Man, figure out, right, what the fuck is that? Man? Told you, man's, man's going around the whole block with this thing, innit? So, you know what OCD is, innit? Like, I'll say I've got OCD, but I ain't got, like, diagnosed OCD where, because there's some people, they're just mad with it, like, you know? But you've got people who have got OCD who are really clean, and then you've got people who are hoarders, yeah? So obviously you know what a clean person is, but you know what a mad clean person is, isn't it? So you've got people that have got mad clean OCD where their house is spotless, like you eat food off the floor. Like me, you can eat food off my floor, innit? Yeah, my house is super clean, innit? Um, but then you got people at the other end of the spectrum who are hoarders. Yeah, they're hoarders. They don't throw away nothing, in it. Yeah, just type in OCD cleaners and you'll see them programs where you've got the clean people going into the hoarders' houses, isn't it? They're, they're from the same uh, tree, but they're different branches of the same tree. One person's an OCD clean person, and one person's a hoarder. Two different, completely opposite ends of the spectrum, but it stems from the same thing. And a lot of these people have had a traumatic experience, which is why they are actually either OCD clean, it's a compulsion, or they hoard. Yeah? After their traumatic experience, they're not the same no more, innit? So, boom. Uh, like, someone could get beaten up or stabbed or mad, like, attacked in a mad way. And from then, they've got OCD cleanliness or whatever. And they feel like everything needs to be clean and stuff, innit? Yeah, they just, they get, like, anxiety and panic attacks. And they just feel like everything needs to be clean because it's a way to control their environment because they feel powerless that they was attacked. Like, I don't know if they call it PTSD or whatever. And like even my girl, like she does like Polish translating or whatever. And, and yeah, there was one guy, he got beaten up or something like that. And now he's like bare OCD clean and that, innit? Yeah. And she was saying it's like a way for him to control his environment. That's why she, he, he even said that himself. I like to be clean in that because it's a way for me to control my environment or something like that. Now, that's something that obviously I've seen it on TV, these programs or whatever, innit? And, um, yeah, obviously I've heard it from my girl, like she's done Polish translating or whatever. Innit? But something that I've heard someone said to me personally, um, I was on a job. This is when I'm working in someone's house in Northampton. Innit? This is deep. Yeah. So boom. Obviously, I go to people's houses and do electrical testing. Innit? So I go to different yards and the yards are mad. Some of these people live nasty, boy. Fuck, you know, and they won't ask me if I want to drink. Blood, you're trying to kill me, fam. That's manslaughter right there, you know. Some of these places, the rats wouldn't even want... A rat will go in and say, Ross, I don't even want to be in that place. That place is dirty, isn't it, yeah? So anyway, I went to this guy's house, and a big man, he's like 65 or something. Like Boom. You know them yards where, like, again, I can't really call it, call it hoarding as such, but it's just like, they got a lot of clutter in the yard then it? it's not mad hoarding in it but they got a lot of clutter in it so he's saying to me yeah obviously we got a lot of stuff out in the house in it it's like a normal house ground floor first floor now we got a lot of stuff out but this is nothing innit? you want to see my daughter's room my daughter's room is mad now when he said daughter i'm just thinking 20 year old girl in it although he's 65 in it i'm not really pre in the tin clock in the tin maybe he's like 60 but yeah I'm just thinking 20 year old daughter or whatever. Isn't it? So he said, Yeah, the room is mad. Yeah. So I'm just preparing you in it. So anyway, I'm starting downstairs, testing all the sockets and all this downstairs, whatever. Isn't it? Boom. So afterwards, he's like, Yeah. So I'm like, All right, show me around in the rooms upstairs. And so every three bed house has two normal size rooms and a box room in it. Yeah. So like my mum's yard, there's two normal size rooms and one box room. In my yard, there's two normal size rooms and a box room, isn't it? So the box room, he's taken that and he's made that his room. Him and his wife live in the box room, isn't it? Don't ask me why. So anyway, we've gone into his grandson's room. Yeah. His grandson's like 15 years old, but his grandson's not there, isn't it? So anyway, we've gone into his grandson's room, innit? The room's dirty, messy, yeah. Coke cans and just dirty, innit? Messy, innit? PlayStation there as well. 
So I'm telling you, man, they were 30 years old, 40 years old, still playing PlayStation. You're moving like a 15 year old, isn't it? Boom, tested his room now, innit? Boom, tested all the sockets, left. And he's like, all right, cool, we're going to go into my daughter's room now, innit? I'm preparing you, innit? The room is mad. And if a white man told you the room is mad, you know it's mad, innit? Gone in this room, blood. It was like a fucking bomb had gone off in this fucking room. I walked in there. I said, blood, why is there so much clothes on this bed? I was like, there's no way your daughter sleeps in that bed. He said, no, 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 no. All those clothes are on the floor, but she's picked all of the clothes up and put them on the bed so you can walk around in the room. It was mad blood. It was like every item of clothing from Oxfam was on this fucking bed, blood. Yeah. It was not. I never seen nothing like this before, in it. Yeah, I don't even. The room was so cluttered and had so much junk in there. I couldn't even tell if the room was clean or dirty. Yeah, there was so much stuff in this room. A massive pile of clothes on the bed, in it. Yeah, it was nuts. So anyway, tested the sockets and that, and went back downstairs. So me, I get on well with these tenants, in it. Um. I've got good rapport with people, innit? They're from completely different walks of life to man, innit? Age-wise as well, they're not the same age as man, but I get on well with a lot of these tenants up in Northampton and other contracts, man's being on, innit? Boom. So I'm talking to him downstairs or whatever, innit? Yeah, and he's saying, like, yeah, my daughter's got OCD, innit? Yeah, like, like um, sorry, my daughter's a hoarder, innit? Yeah? And I said to him, yeah, you know, like, some people are hoarders and that sometimes because they had, like, a traumatic experience, and um, yeah, that's what turns them into a hoarder. They weren't born like that. It, something's happened to them in the past and they feel like they have to collect things or whatever, isn't it? And he said, yeah, something happened to my daughter. That's why she's like that, innit? So boom. So I remember I said, yeah, he had a grandson that was in the yard, didn't it? Yeah, that lived there, but he was at school and the daughter was at work, innit? So the daughter's like 35 or something like that, and the grandson's like 15. Obviously, the grandson's in one room and the daughter's in another room, whatever. In it. I didn't clock that the grandson is the daughter's son. Yeah? So you got the dad who's 65, then the daughter who's like 35, and then her son is 15. Yeah? The 15 year old's in one room, the woman's in. The 35 year old woman's in another room, that mad hoarded clothes junk room. She's in that room next to him. I didn't realize that was his mom in it. I just didn't clock because I didn't see them there or nothing like that. I don't even know what these people look like in it. I didn't clock that. Oh, her son is in the room next door or whatever in it. So anyway, he said, Yeah, um, my, my, my daughter was raped. That's what he said in it. I said, Oh. Is the boy that lives in the room, is your grandson your daughter's son? And he said, yeah, 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 that's my daughter's son. Yeah, um, that, yeah, that's my daughter's son. He said, he is a product of rape, you know. He, the, the man that raped his daughter got away with rape, whatever, innit? Yeah. And when that happened, she became a hoarder and that. I said, see? Well, I didn't say see, but I'm thinking myself, see? I knew something must have maybe happened to this girl because the room was nuts. The room was nuts. So, yeah, the girl, when she was like, I don't know, 18, 20 or 15, I can't remember, in it, yeah? She got raped by some guy, but she kept the baby. And that child is a product of that. But he doesn't know that he is a product of that. And the reason why the mum uh, hoards and that is because that happened to her or whatever. It? Imagine, imagine me going to a tenant's house and he's telling me that his daughter was raped. These people need to keep their mouth shut, blood. You think man's telling a stranger about some personal intricate details and that? <laughs> Fucking hell, blood. But yeah, so like I said before, like as someone who's an OCD cleaner and someone's a hoarder, it's different branches of the same tree. Yeah, they had a trauma, some people in it had a traumatic experience and it's made them become a cleaner, like OCD crazy cleaning or whatever isn't it? like you even drop one little piece of dust on the floor and they're underneath it cleaning it and shit or they become a hoarder because of traumatic experience the girl was raped and uh yeah she kept the baby and the guy got away with it apparently or whatever in it um yeah man 
man, how's a man fucking telling me them stories and that? I don't even know the man. Well, some people, they feel like they can open up to man and that in it, so. Yeah.